Hey everyone, Willie Yardshouse Survivalist here with my flea market finds for May 25th and 26th, 2013. Had another uh, great weekend out there picking. Found some great stuff to show you. Uh, some really good finds. Uh, I've been really lucky lately and uh, hope it continues. I've had a uh, few good weekends uh, the past few weeks. Uh, the eBay store has been going really good. The employees are working hard and getting a lot of stuff listed in the store. I uh, have over 600 items listed there. Uh, I'll be doing a video related to that later. Uh, but uh, things are looking good. Uh, got uh, got a lot of stuff going out. Got uh, offers coming in. Um, it's a fun time. But right now, let me show you what I got. It's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. It'll probably be a three-parter today. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first up, a couple duffel bags. Uh, came from the estate of a uh, um, Marine who uh, served in Korea during the Korean War. Uh, USMC on them, got them both for five bucks. Uh, don't know what duffel bags bring, but uh, uh, should do okay with those. Got a box of train stuff, um, still wrapped up in the pack. Two bucks for a whole box, can't go wrong there. Uh, Royal Dalton uh, set. I haven't looked this up, but I got a mug here and uh, some other stuff. Still in the box. Box is a little uh, beat, but uh, paid uh, six dollars for uh, for both of them. So uh, should do well there. Got some really good uh, cap gun holsters. Uh, definitely seen some wear, seen some use. Um, these came from the same estate that uh, I got the uh, uh, battery-operated uh, Charlie Weaver and the uh, the crazy car. Uh, it came all from the same place, and the Matchbox cars. Uh, all this stuff came from the same estate. Um, some neat stuff uh, from there. Uh, but as you can see, this one, this set was seven, and that set was seven. It's a little better, but I like the little uh, glass accents on the uh, holster here. I uh, picked up a cannon for eight bucks. Really nice, heavy duty. I got to check and see how far down the uh, uh, bore goes on the barrel. And if it goes all the way to the back, uh, that's a good selling point. All it needs is a little touch hole at it, and you've got a operating cannon. You gotta be careful selling those on eBay though. Uh, they don't they only let you sell decorative ones, not functional ones. Uh, this turned out to be a really, really good find. Uh, came with the uh, uh, saddles. The person selling it thought it was uh, for a cap gun, but you can see it's marked Ethica M49 saddle gun. Uh, M49 was a 22 uh, single shot looked like a uh, cowboy gun and uh, apparently it came with this I'm kind of tempted to get the gun now that I have this holster for it you can see what I paid eight bucks did a search and I found one that sold in similar condition $120 so uh, I think I'll put this in my store uh, 140 or best offer and uh, see what happens with that but uh, um, pretty good on that got some Tootsie Toys you notice a lot of doubles on uh, things that's, that's because the estate was uh, two boys um, they were born right around the same time grew up in the early 60s and I guess they they just packed their stuff up in the attic and uh, um, when the estate got sold so did their stuff uh, Tootsie Toy radar truck Got another radar truck here missing the uh, a dish on it, but all these are Tootsie Toys. Got a uh, Jaguar Tootsie Toy here. Um, I'll probably sell them in one lot. A uh, little vintage fan. That was a buck. Um, and a, uh, I think it's a Tonka to a horse trailer. That was a buck. Uh, moving on. 
Uh, got these, picked these up from a yard sale. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, $2 a piece. Uh, picked them up because they still had the boxes. They got their weapons in there too. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do with them. Probably not worth a whole lot. Uh, but since they had a box, I took a chance on them. Uh, picked up a clarinet this morning at the flea market. Uh, this is a Jupiter, and it's a uh, model, let's see, here it is, Jupiter, model JCL631, um, in really good shape, one thing to look for with clarinets, the cork, is that'll kill a sail quicker than anything, is that cork will come off, and uh, they can replace it, but it's not cheap to do. Uh, all the cork on these, where the connections are, it's in really good shape. So that's a good selling point. Uh, doesn't have the reed that goes in the mouthpiece, but that's no big deal. Um, I pointed that out to the lady selling it. She was asking 50. I said, "Would you take 30?" And uh, she took it. Uh, looked it up on Worth Point. One in like really, really good shape sold for uh, $230. This one's a little worn. I think it's an easy 100 120 though. Uh, so that'll be going on eBay. Uh, going up here, uh, a couple little cowgirl uh, pinup uh, things from, uh, and i got a uh, thermometer in there. Uh, two bucks. Uh, I think that's an easy 20 for somebody into uh, the cowboy western stuff. Uh, Tower 39 camera. And if I can get it open here. There it is. Uh, neat vintage camera. Paid $8 for it. What I really liked about it was the flash. You flip this open, put the flash bulb in there, shut it up, and you're good to go. Uh, never seen one like that before. Turns out it's not worth a whole lot of money. I'll probably put in my store about $30 of best offer. Uh, a couple vintage stickers. Got these from the estate that had the uh, um, duffel bags. Uh, found these uh, underneath the glass of a uh, desk uh, that they were selling. So I uh, picked them out and asked him how much. He said 50 cents a piece. Nice Colts uh, decal. Got a little rip right here, but uh, for 50 cents, that was from 58.59, probably the same year. The Oriole one, really like the Oriole bird. Uh, not sure what I'll get for those. Uh, who knows? Maybe 15, 20 bucks a piece. Not sure. A uh, set of six coasters. They're aluminum. Uh, made by uh, Wilton. Three bucks for the six. That's only 50 cents a piece. I don't think I can really go wrong with that. Uh, picked up a camera. Uh, official Girl Scout. Never really had good luck with uh, Boy Scout, Girl Scout stuff. But uh, never seen a Girl Scout camera before, so I took a chance. Ten bucks on that. A uh, neat old bottle with a cork stopper. Uh, Royal Lime. This was uh, Cologne, I believe it was. Nice green glass. Um, paid uh, 10 for this, and looks like it's only going to bring about 20 to 30. Uh, this would have been a super deal. Uh, once again, for, it came from the estate with all the other toys. Um, same year uh, that most of them are from. Uh, dated 1960, well, this is 67, a lot of the other stuff was early 60s. Voyage to the bottom of the sea's thermos. This is not the original uh, lid, and it's got a bad rust spot right there. Uh, couldn't have picked the worst spot for it. Uh, if it was in mint condition, uh, this would have been a $160 uh, thermos. 
the condition it's in now, it's probably going to bring between 40 and 50. Still not bad. And over here, I'll tell you what, we're at the 10 minute mark. I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to end it here. We're at the end of part one, we're going to start part two with the uh, Scotch Whiskey uh, pitcher in just a second.